accidentally stumbled upon three crates of glass plates at the Wellcome Library. And it's very little known that uh, it's a tre treasure trove of uh, images of Hong Kong and a very large part of, of China taken by a Scottish photographer between 1868 and 1872. Uh, he arrived here in Hong Kong and he came as a professional photographer, which is very unusual given this is a couple of decades after the invention of photography by Daguerre. So Thompson arrived, sailed into the harbour, 1868, he establishes a studio in Queen's Road and he lived here for the next five years. For the first time, a century and a half after they were created here, 22 images of old Hong Kong are making their debut to local viewers. Through the lens of John Thompson, Hong Kong and coastal China, 1868 to 1872, on show at the Maritime Museum until the middle of February, features more than 70 of Thompson's photographs of life in China and Hong Kong during the late Qing Dynasty. The subjects include landscapes, architecture, street scenes, and portraits of the rich and the poor. First of all, he's a wonderful landscape photographer. If you imagine, he has to carry a huge camera with a very, very hard glass negatives, a lot of them up and down the country. Of course, they had to be developed in situ there and then, otherwise the image would be lost. So he had to have chemicals and a mobile dark room. So if you keep that in mind when you come to visit the show and see some of the vantage points of the landscape, uh, you can but uh, be amazed by that work. However, what really captured my imagination was his wonderful portraits of people and street scenes documenting the day-to-day day -day life of the people and especially women. Now, how did a bearded Scottish guy come to China not knowing the language? How did the, he capture women from northern part of China, Manchu women, all the way to Fujian tea plantation uh, and to Cantonese boat women? It's very unusual. It marks him out as an outstanding photographer, as a precursor of photojournalism. The photographs have been reprinted from original glass negatives in the Wellcome Library's collection in London. The glass plates were almost thrown out as the Wellcome collection grew too large. But Betty Yao discovered them in 2006 and decided to take the images on tour. If you look at the negatives, they're very small and not very clear, although looking at the contact prints, you, you can immediately recognize how good they are. However, it's different seeing the show because these are printed to 1,000 dpi and some of them are so, almost life-size that you see the, the details and nuances. And I must say, personally, I've seen, followed this show around the world. I find something every time that I've not picked up before, whether there's a little cat under a table or a little man with a hat. There's always something special. One is the Manchu bride. This is a young girl, resplendent in her bridal costume, beautiful embroidery and jewelry. However, if you look closely at her eyes, they're tinged with anticipation and, and some sadness. And then the other image that we see here is of um, a Cantonese boatwoman. Very simple cotton dress and a handkerchief around her head. But if you observe her eyes, there's such life and such joie de vivre and, and her own woman, and she's a free person. Despite being poor, she, her future is within her own control. So this man, 150 years ago, the fact that he was able to capture two women from different parts of China, and, and if you think the technology of that time, it took such a long time to take a photograph, that he's able to have that sensitivity to show us the inner feelings of two different lives, for me, signifies the importance of Thompson and why he should be seen by a wider public. Of the 22 images of Hong Kong, 
14 will be donated to the Hong Kong Maritime Museum and remain here. Also, if you look at the wonderful landscape, look at Hong Kong, uh, look at Devoe Road already with the next to the seafront, perhaps we'll inspire some other young person to say, well, maybe we should uh, care about our environment a bit more, preserve our heritage, maybe some of our beautiful older buildings should be preserved. But maybe above all, if we know more about the Thompson story, what he had to persevere, the, had to endure, to travel around and capture these images, it is through sheer hard work. Mm.